Damn, <laughs> that one, that that Seattle defense was was uh, came into the game as the worst uh, passing defense in the NFL. What were they able to do though to kind of give you guys um, so many issues throughout the game? I don't know. Uh, you know, I'll know better when we look at the tape. Um, but just from how I felt, um, you know, I felt like, you know, I, I need to do a better job of, of getting the ball out of my hands. Um, and if something's not there, finding my check down. Sam, you guys were able to take your first possession, go down the field, get some points. Things started looking very good right off the top. But then you weren't able to score. You weren't able to get into the end zone after that. What was the Seattle defense doing to you guys that, that maybe you don't have to look at the film, but yet you can just tell us right now? Yeah, I mean, they're doing a good job of disrupting our flow. Um, they're doing a really good job of stopping the run game. Um, and then when we needed to pass the ball, um, we couldn't do it efficiently enough to win the, win the game. Did uh, Jamal say anything to you before, during, or after the game? Um, yeah, I mean, we exchanged some, some words, you know, uh, during and then after the game. But I'll keep that between us. How frustrating is it to prepare for a game like this? And I'm sure you guys had a, a pretty good week of practice leading up to this, but then it not translate to the field and end up in a 40 to three loss. Yeah. I mean, it sucks, you know? So again, we just got to watch the tape and, and get better and see what we can do, uh, you know, to continue to improve. And this is the, uh, go ahead, Rich. Yeah, uh, this is not the kind of history you want to be involved in, but it is the 13th straight loss for the Jets. That's, that's now a franchise record. Um, I have just thoughts on, on just being involved with something like that. I mean, yeah, we got to be better. How do you yeah, just how, – how demoralizing is this to, to go through? Yeah, I mean, losing is not fun. So we just got to be better. And like I, like I say, during the week, we just got to find a way to continue to improve and, and get better and um, do all the things that we need to do to, to try to win a game. Obviously, you're an NFL football player. Your teammates are in the NFL, the highest level. It's always a, a, a amount of pride that you play with. Is there even more pride going down the stretch, not wanting to become one of the th- – you know, other join those other two teams that have gone winless throughout a season. Oh, no, I think for us, I mean, you know, we're prideful regardless of our situation. So we're going to go out there and, and give it our all, you know, every single Sunday, every single game that we play. So, you know, um, our pride and, and what we play for and how we play, that's not going to be a question. Do you think- how much is, Tim, how much is it killing you guys that you're not capitalizing when the other team does make a mistake? Marcus gets the interception. Uh, you guys can't do anything with it. There's a long kick return. Estio misses the field goal. Just how, how much is that killing you guys right now? Yeah, I mean, we got to capitalize when our opportunities are there. I think that's um, that's kind of the overall, you know, that's the thing that's been holding us back all year is just capitalizing when, you know, the opportunity is there for us to take advantage of it. Do you think the team was affected by any residual effects from the way last week's uh, game ended and the and the immediate fallout of last week's game? No, no, we were ready. We were prepared to to play this game. 